Hey everybody, it's Celestial Guidance here again. Um, I'm really sorry, I really don't have a posting schedule. So it's kind of spontaneous at the moment. Um, but yeah, you know, make sure you like, subscribe, comment. Um, I don't know, what else do people usually say in the intro? I'm still like new to this. Um, you know, just give this video a thumbs up. If you feel like it resonates, you know, tell your story below if you feel like it resonates for you. But, you know, follow my Instagram. It's at Celestial Guidance, you know, Celestial with threes instead of E's underscore guidance with a three, not an E. And okay, so today we're just going to get right into it basically you know and i've just been shuffling this deck and we're gonna get into what the divine masculine is currently thinking of their divine feminine so let me turn up the brightness on this camera here okay so currently with the divine masculine is thinking the divine feminine okay spirit tell us what we need to know not what we want to hear bless okay spirit what is divine masculine currently thinking of the collective divine feminine energy what is the collective divine masculine Remember when I said I should stop doing these in my car? Yeah, I should really stop doing these in my car because it just makes it a thousand times harder. Okay, so, oh wow, that's so funny. Yay! Okay. So, it seems like that the Divine Masculine is finally deciding that he knows where his heart is leading him towards i think he's ready to become more vulnerable with this divine feminine um this divine feminine you know she could have long hair she could be kind of voluptuous you know in certain spots um she seems very open-minded non-judgmental because you see she's vulnerable here too it's not just him that's vulnerable and you know she's kind of covering him in her love and it's making him more comfortable to come out of his shell and your divine masculine you know he could be built um he could be lean he could be very tall um maybe average height but taller than you um yeah and it seems like they have a whole ton of emotions that they want the divine feminine to know that they've been holding in you know your divine masculine could be having um some issues with just being expressive but they could also have dark hair that's short um ooh. okay so we have the two of swords and the crossroads so the two of swords you know i feel like this divine masculine was in between two choices or at least um like it doesn't have to necessarily be like like a third party doesn't necessarily have to be another person you know it could be um like a job that's taking up too much time it could be you know um you know children you know anything really it doesn't necessarily always have to be you know another person but in this situation um it seems like family could have been an issue um but it seems like they've come to the conclusion with this ten of swords that they know where they want to take this direction it seems like they know what the next step is for them and what they want to do spirit 
What is divine masculine thinking when it comes to the divine feminine? What is the collective divine masculine thinking when it comes to the divine feminine? Okay. So it seems like we have the hangman. I don't know if you can see this. We have the hangman. Six of wands. And the eight of wands. So, you know, eight of wands is kind of seen as like communication. So it seems like this divine masculine was at a standstill. They were stuck. They weren't sure what to do in terms of uh, where to bring this relationship. Um, it seems like they had gone through some things, but it seems like with the six of wands here, it seems like they have found a way to create some form of balance in their life in order to achieve this partnership with their divine feminine. So it seems like they're coming in here with the eight of wands with some very, very quick communication. Um, they know they've waited a while at this standstill point, trying to figure out where to take things, how to move things. And, you know, um, if they were dealing with a karmic partner, which maybe majority of you have, but you know, that's not always the case. Once again, I think that this divine masculine is really starting to kind of open his eyes a little bit. And, um, I don't know. It seems like the divine feminine had some doubts about this person but i think when this person this divine masculine comes into this divine feminine i do think a new friendship will be starting i don't think it's necessarily gonna rush into a relationship you know some of you might be like hell no like we've done this too many times but i think for the rest of you i think the divine feminines have been holding on to this divine masculine in hopes of some form of communication and i think this communication is coming in soon um like maybe within like a week or so um this divine masculine you know i think he's really i think he's finally ready to to prove himself like i think he's gone through a lot of doubts in his life of people not like believing in him people kind of just taking him for granted as well and i think they kind of fell into this dark night of the soul you know see look as i'm saying that yeah yeah he's ready to come in he's ready to tell the divine feminine what's been going on how they want to create structure um some of the divine masculines like some of their third parties honestly could just be their brain in the sense of they're so afraid of commitment that they're so trapped in their brain thinking okay yeah i'm not good enough like they're doing all of this i'm only doing like this one thing it's not enough or oh i feel like this person is high maintenance and i don't have the funds for that like you know i feel like this this emperor is really coming in to i i really do think that they're gonna still need some time to because like you know we're always healing so it's like they're not gonna be 100 percent healed when they get to you just like you're not 100 percent healed collective but this emperor is ready to present an idea to you um present some form of either like relationship or you know just trying to figure out maybe like new living arrangements maybe new um maybe a new business you know that they're trying to do and need help with um let's see i want to dive into a different deck here let me get a different deck 
so let's see what let's let's just see what's gonna come about from this offer from the emperor like, let's see what they have to tell you let's see like what they're trying to do to like better themselves you know stuff like that um okay spirit tell us what we need to know not what we want to hear about this emperor what is this emperor coming to offer the divine feminine what is this collective divine masculine coming to offer this divine feminine what is the collective divine masculine coming to offer the divine collective feminine well you, you know what i mean what is this collective divine masculine coming to offer the collective divine feminine spirit Okay, so we have the false person that came out. So let's get one more card. Let's get one more card, Spirit. Okay. So we have false person in concern. So I'm getting a few stories from this. I'm seeing that... The divine masculine may have you know um wasn't 100 percent serious about a relationship he was already in and when they approached you they were still in this relationship and they see that you don't trust them they see that you know you see a different version of them and they don't want you to necessarily see that version of them so they're kind of concerned about how to get back into your good gracious for other divine masculines i see that you know this divine masculine i feel like you know they try to come in on some player energy but i feel like some of your divine masculines really aren't a player they just try to come off as a player to maybe try to impress you in hopes of like maybe you'll chase them um you know this false person could also be someone that they're dealing with right now a karmic partner so um you know don't be upset collective you know we all have to go through lessons but i think you know um this divine masculine also could be dealing with someone that's not who they want look <laughs> the song worst day by dc the dawn is playing right now so i think that's confirmation that divine masculine is dealing with someone that just isn't isn't who they want isn't who they were expecting it to be it seems like maybe they got played just like they played you collective it seems like maybe they got played as well so some divine masculines could be coming in to actually communicate this with you and telling you maybe that um they changed they see why Maybe some of you ghosted them because, you know, they they weren't being real. You know, they weren't being their true, authentic selves. So how can you love someone when you don't love yourself type of thing? You know what I'm saying? Um, what does this emperor want to give the divine feminine? What does this emperor want to give? The divine feminine spirit what does the collective divine masculine okay so they want to be a mature man or they are a mature man now um some of you may have not been in communication with this person for a while due to the false person that they were pretending to be along with the false person 
that they were dealing with you know lots of emotional um like somebody somebody just wasn't emotionally developed and i think your divine masculine collective is wanting you to know that they are more mature now and they think they're ready to handle a serious relationship with you that they didn't think they were able to handle before in the past so i think this mature man i think he has found a balance in his work and social life what's the card just flipped over community so it seems like this mature man was facing some it seems like he was facing some problems due to his inauthenticity inauthenticity yeah on Un unauthentic yeah basically this divine masculine was you know they had some form of community and it's kind of like telling two things like this community didn't want this divine masculine to leave this woman and now they're going through a bunch of karma and i feel like the community is kind of watching and enjoying their pain because you know the divine masculine is very wise and that he got played so i well you know divine masculine doesn't have to be he you know energies are fluid but um and then it seems like another part of the community kind of wants this new emperor energy to go to where their heart really desires i think that um there are people around this emperor that wanted them to grow up and become just more than what they were giving off i think um the divine masculine was in this I'm not gonna say little boy energy but just very immature energy when it came to emotions and i think the divine feminine when they were in contact with this divine masculine i think it caused a catalyst in their life and a bunch of changes began happening after the first interaction with each other basically um okay okay um let me get out of my car and get those because now i'm seeing that there's a card that actually fell so i need to go see that Okay, y'all. Uh, so the card that actually dropped in between the seat, the last deck, was Heartbreak. So it seems here that, like, this emperor really was heartbroken over the separation that you guys went through. And they're kind of keeping that to themselves at the moment. Just had to make sure I got all those cards. But, um,. Yes, so there's adjudication on a house. So I feel like there is a situation when it comes to this masculine. I think maybe the masculine might have had shared assets of some sort with this false person that they were dealing with. And it seems as though they're going through um, some court cases, it seems like. You know, spirit is also judging them for causing a rift in the connection. And they're starting to see their faults, where they went wrong, sort of where they need to kind of just become a better energy, not for other people, but for themselves. Like they can't keep living in a lie if they want to be 
happy and successful with what they really want. Some of these emperors are people pleasers and that's sort of like their fault. Um, Mm, yeah so heavy people pleasers it seems like they never want to let people down so they just decide to please people instead and it causes issues in their personal life that they don't seem to realize it's causing real issues in their personal life um you know it could be an older woman that's causing a rift in this partnership um i think i might have said that the last video too so there's going to be a message you know within a week or so or maybe in july around the summer but there is going to be a message sent between now and summer um and it's going to be let's see what this message is going to be about what is this message going to be about spirit what message is Divine Masculine going to send? What is this message that Divine Masculine has to say? What message does... Mm. High honor. So it seems like that not only... It seems... Okay. Here's what I'm getting. I'm getting that this emperor... was secretly an emperor but since they're so vulnerable they just were afraid to show that side but it's in them but they were hurt so badly by their last relationship and the separation of you that it was causing confusion in their brain and you know that happens you know but you can't you can't leave people in a gray area you need to it's either a yes or a no yes or no answers you know so i think that this person could have a very good occupation in the sense of where they're held in high honor and i think that this person this divine masculine also holds you collective in high honor and I think that's what the message is going to be about is that they do respect you and they do have, you know, love for you. But there's stuff in their personal life that just ruined the connection. Like it wasn't intentional for some of them. Like they never intended to hurt you. They were going through their own hurt yeah look official person so they want to make you their official person and they are also an official person in their occupation and maybe they do have high intense jobs that just you know it doesn't give enough time to like they don't have enough time to spread themselves to other people which is probably why they keep themselves in like this chaotic you know non-committal energy see look distance horizons it seems like they don't want to keep this connection at a distance anymore yeah it's it's causing them like sickness it's causing them pain they're feeling heartbreak you know some people do die of a broken heart and they are they're ready to be your main person they're ready to be your main person as long as you allow them to be your number one and only person you know this person is either wealthy or they are coming into some sudden wealth and they want to start they want to start working with you they want to start building this relationship like they're tired of you know just kind of being by themselves like some of these divine masculines have actually been single for a very long time but it's like some of them are picky Right, so some of these divine masculines are picky in the sense that they had bad relationships, so now they don't want to dive into something because they sort of have like this mindset now that like all women are the same when in reality that's not true. 
the energy you are in is the energy that you attract you know like birds of a feather flock together but um you know this masculine has really been going through some things secretly um i feel like they don't normally get emotional about relationships but with you it feels sort of different they're not really understanding well now they're understanding because you know the emperor card that came out earlier before um and plus also not only do we have you know official person that holds you in high honor but you know this is just double confirmation right here that this man this man is ready to be your main man this man is ready to be your main man and this is just confirmation official person emperor card of communication coming in high speed message like this is double confirmation and i feel like this emperor is ready to take that leap of faith because they know that this partnership can lead to something really good and fulfilling and i think this emperor is still scared look at that he's scared but he's ready to take the risk with you finally like this emperor is ready to make something with you i think this emperor really wants to show you that he knows how to love like look at the 12 at the top add that together you know one plus two that's three like someone wants to be very expressive to a privileged lady someone wants to show them that they care about them and look at the bottom of the deck unexpected income now this doesn't necessarily have to be money this could just be an offer of love this could just be an offer of support this could be something where they want to finally like work together and they want to tell you that so it's sort of like this is going to be a blessing to you look a journey a journey look at this and you have 10 at the top you know and it's sort of just like one is all about intuition zero is all about new beginnings so it's just like this person is ready to offer you offer you something whether it's a trip to come see them whether it's them asking to come see you so you guys can go and work things out um somebody you know somebody's occupation really takes up their time and i think they do want to express that too i think they feel really bad about how things happened as well but some may also want to help you flourish your occupation you know some people may be starting some new businesses some people may want um to just like help you flourish that collective because they see a lot of potential in you they see that you're creative they see that you know they just feel like you're very special to them and they just want to express that look at that they think about you all the time you're all they ever think about and they want to create a family with you like they want to express this stuff to you they want to express that you changed their life but also somebody that was in the picture beforehand was stopping this connection and now they're ready to tell you who they really are and create a foundation with you so that you guys can start building and create look change like they're, they're ready they're ready collective and they want they want to share their wealth with you they don't want to keep hiding things from you when they know it's not benefiting when they know it's not benefiting their health and let's see what unicorn has to say what stuff does unicorn have to say to us today right so I'm going to use this unicorn deck and, you know, um, you know, there's some divine masculines that are non-committal because of their job. There are some people that are non-committal because, you know, they went through some childhood stuff, but they are a player. Um, 
feel like this is a third confirmation. I feel like this is a third confirmation. It says unicorn portal. Focus your light. Listen for a message. Listen for a message. And I feel like we've had multiple message cards come out throughout this entire reading. And, you know, the unicorn is basically telling you like relax you know things are gonna fall into place you need to trust us but you know still look for the signs because the signs are telling you you know change is happening just have you know some hope you know you have uh 38 on this card you have 38 on this card and look at this like this just tells me that the union for majority of you are going to end in a form of serious commitment like look at this this arch right here this arch it just reminds me like you know of a wedding you know like a honeymoon type of thing you know a date um but for most i'm seeing like engagement you know so you know 38 is on this card and when you add it together you know eight plus three one plus one so you know it adds up to two and that's unionship there's gonna be a balance coming you just have to be patient and wait for it um what else do you have to tell the collective spirit what other message do you have for the collective spirit look look for the signs adds up to two it says pay attention expect an answer i'm telling you a message is coming quickly a message is coming quickly so get out into nature you know relax your mind you know do some yoga you know go bike riding do do whatever you do that normally makes you feel good because as you're doing what you're doing to make you feel good divine feminine your divine masculine is right behind you even though you don't see him maybe you're not hearing from him right behind you they are right behind you what else do they need to know spirit what else do they need to know spirit what other advice does the collective have spirit Okay, so we have Mahatma energy, which is build your light, accelerate, accelerate your um, accession. So on this card, you have once again, these numbers add up to two. So you have nine, yeah, it's 29, but you know, add them up nine plus two, you know, gives you 11, you know, then it one plus one adds up to two, which balance union you know messages are being heard okay and this just confirmed what i was what i was talking about you know keep doing what you're doing already you know the masculines will come to you don't worry about trying to chase you know you attract and you know just keep doing what you normally do because at the end of all of this you know there's success there's success like you will be happy with the results that you get from this union and then the other card that fell out was magical crystal cave switch on your inner light bring forward your gifts so there's many of you who are very sensitive you know very intuitive you know you know what you want off the bat you know it's very easy for you to have yes or no answers nothing is confusion with you everything is basically straightforward with you and you know 21 is on this card and that adds up to three and that's a very expressive number and this person is you know they're trying to match your energy they're trying to match your energy 
some have tried to probably come to you with some you know bs energy but this time it will be different um you know in the meantime spirit just wants you to really just focus on your talents because some of your talents may benefit your future like some people may be into a lot of arts and crafts some people could be into um very extroverted activities um your personal unicorn bathe in pure love stay open to unicorn magic so spirit is saying don't lose faith you know you can still have faith while you keep your life on track so if the ones that do want their divine masculine back just be who you really are you know show your loving side show your feminine side it's okay to be vulnerable um and the ones that you know don't want the divine masculine back you already know the drill like you know just keep doing what you're doing already and don't pay them any mind so, like just keep doing what you're doing already because that's where your success lies you know you don't need anybody to kind of make you feel worthy of something like you know what you're worthy of look at this and i think we're gonna end on this note 23 adds up to five and five is all about change so soul satisfaction honor honor your uniqueness do what makes you feel good and it seems as though like many of you will have you know some furry pets with your divine masculine some of you will enjoy the outdoors some of you may be an interracial couple some of you may be of you know just different ethnicities different cultural backgrounds um some of you or one of you either the, the divine masculine or the divine feminine one of you either have a child or the divine masculine wants to have a child with you possibly a baby girl that resembles you and it seems like there's just a lot of happiness at the end of all of this it seems like there will be a lot of clarity within this entire relationship soon um the divine masculine is getting the confidence that he needs to fully put this plan into motion so right now they're sort of strategizing on how to get there how to approach you without sounding like a douche uh approach you without coming off as like someone who doesn't care you know but they really do care um the divine masculine really just wants to show you how they feel it seems many divine masculines have a love language of physical touch um some divine masculines could have a love language of you know acts of service you know giving gifts or like oh like you're hungry let me like pay for your meal no i want you i want you to be fed like relax like i'll pay for it or you know if your feet hurt you know maybe they'll give you like a foot rub or something but yeah so this is the reading guys you know don't forget to like and subscribe um, don't be scared to, you know, hit that bell and yeah, see you soon.